Out of all the models out there, Gemini 2.5 Pro has the highest intelligence score in terms of visual reasoning intelligence. And that's why in this video, we're gonna take a look at 2.5 Pro from Gemini OCR system, and we're gonna test this with different places or different test case, as well as large amount of data sets, which you can see here, and also spending some credits to basically try to test this with large amount of scale to see the accuracy for Gemini 2.5 Pro. And we're gonna test this with one of the workflow we built previously from the previous video, which is the invoice AI agents. We're gonna use the Gemini 2.5 Simplify Pro to test it instead of the Google Vision API. So with that being said, if you're interested to explore the power of Gemini 2.5 Pro OCR, then this video is for you. So with that being said, let's get into it. Now, before we move on to the demonstration, one thing that I want to clarify is the difference between Google Cloud Vision API and also Gemini 2.5 Pro. Like what is the difference between those two, right? So the main difference here is that Google Cloud Vision API really focuses on the specialized task. For example, if you have like a pre-trained data or a predefined task, Google Cloud Vision API does it really well with faster speed and low cost efficiency. Whereas Gemini 2.5 Pro is more for a general purpose multi-model, which can handle all kinds of unstructured or variety of tasks rather than and just a simple vision API. So that's why in this video, we're gonna put it into the test to see how accurate it is for Gemini 2.5 Pro in terms of extracting information from all kinds of unstructured data like files, images, PDFs, and so much more. All right, so now you know the difference. Let's take a look at how we can put it into test on unstructured data here. So one way we can do this is inside of our Google AI Studio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the chat window here and it will basically pop up a new chat window. So I'm just gonna collapse this, click on the run settings, select the right model here, which is Gemini 2.5 Pro. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna upload an image and basically ask it to extract information from that image. So here you can see I have upload image from a receipt, Home Depot, and goal here is to ask it to extract those information in the table. So this is what the table look like, this is the token assume, and basically we have extracted store, location, most importantly, we extracted the amount paid as well as the date purchase and the payment method. Okay, so those are basically the information that we have extracted, which is pretty accurate based on the original image that we see here. Okay, so that's basically one way we can be able to use it. The other way we can be able to use Gemini 2.5 Pro for the OCR here is from Google Drive. So for example, let's say if I were to upload an image here onto Google Drive, which is the same receipt that I got, and basically I ask it to extract information from this receipt into a table. You can see that here we have our complete table here, which is a store name, the manager name, which is here, you can see this is the manager name, cashier name, as well as the date of purchase, the time, right? So this is the date and this is the time. And here you can see this is the transactions as well as the total amount paid, the sequence number, the payment method, and so much more. So pretty much everything that you see here are pretty accurate based on what we extracted from Gemini 2.5 Pro. And to be honest, with the same receipt that you see here, I was able to test it with Google Revision API and the result wasn't really accurate because this receipt here, even though it says October 14, 2025, Google Vision API, I keep getting it wrong, thinking that this is 2023, October 14. So here right off the bat, you can see that Gemini 2.5 Pro really outperforms for the unstructured data that we get compared to Google Vision API. But obviously that's just one test. And I wanna show you more tests to basically see its performance. All right, so here you can see that we have another receipt which the text here are really unclear. You can see that some texts are not very clear and the paper here is quite folded. And you can see that we have a lot of information displayed in the uh, receipts. So the total amount after tax is 25.42. So if you were to look at Gemini right here, you can see that this is the total amount which is accurate. And this is the subtotal, this is the subtotal, right? This is the GST. And pretty much you can see that this is pretty accurate. And what's really interesting is is that let's say we have a receipt that has some scratches or maybe like a line or that blocks certain text. For example, this total here is scratched out from you know a pen or something, a sharper. You can see that the total here is 1,534.01 and it's also able to detect that as well, which here you can see that is 1,534.01. And let's say we have another receipt here, which you can see that the line here is really folded, right? So the address here is really folded or in this case, not in the same line. You can see that it's able to extract those information really well, right? 2F2370, 2F2370, even though that the text here wasn't really printed very well, right? And here you can see that this is the total amount, which is cash $20, right? So cash $20, tax here is zero, total here is $12, and the change here is $8, which says right here, okay? 
And they also um, interpret very well with the foreign language. So here you can see that this is a foreign language here and it's able to detect that and recognize that very well. And here you can see that we have another receipt here and this receipt, I kept getting it wrong. If you look at the previous video where I built the invoice AI agents, that video I was using Google Vision and the Google Vision API just keep getting this receipt wrong, which for some reason, I have no idea why, but for Google Gemini here, when I try to get it to extract the information from this receipt, which you can see that the uh, pricing here, right? So this is the price. So the total amount is, let's see how much is the total amount. The total amount here is should be 9.43 but let's take a look at what it got here. So the total amount is 9.43, which is accurate, which is good. Uh, the tip here is this amount, which is good. And let's take a look at the GST. The GST is this and then uh, HST from the 5%, which is here, right? So total is pretty accurate. And let's take a look at the time, which is 1.17 PM. And this is the date. <laughs> And also this is the uh, check number. So even though that is CHK, it recognized that this is abbreviation. Okay, so this is the name of the person, this is the location. So pretty much everything that we extracted here is pretty accurate. It, I would say that it's definitely um, a lot better compared to Google Vision API because this is unstructured data, right? We have no idea what's the format look like. We have no idea what the structure look like for each receipt. And you can see that Gemini OPCR here is able to detect that very well here. Okay. All right. So now what I want to talk about is basically how we can be able to use Gemini 2.5 Pro inside of our NAN workflow. So here you can see that right here, we have our invoice AI agent. And basically you can see that this is the exact same workflow that we built from this video right here, which is basically how I built the invoice AI agents using the Google Vision API. And here you can see that all I have changed here is basically replacing the Google Vision API using the Gemini 2.5 Pro instead. And that's the only thing that changed. And basically the workflow goes like this, where we have like PDF files or images, which is like receipts or invoice. And we wanna pass that to the OCR here. And the goal here is basically to have the OCR here to extract the text from the images or PDF files and pass it to the large language model here to extract the information we need. For example, we want to extract information like the amount, the vendor, the tax paid, as well as the payment method or anything like that. And eventually we wanna output them into to a Google Sheet table. And that's basically the goal for this workflow. Here you can see that that's exactly the same here, right? So that's what we're trying to do. And here you can see that I have changed the API call using the Gemini 2.5 Pro for the OCR system. Now, simply if you want to get the API key or make the API call, simply you're just going to navigate to Google AI Studio here. And here you can see on the right sidebar uh, or left sidebar here, you can see there's a get API key. We're just going to click on this, navigate to the API keys and create our own API key, which here you can see I create one called the invoice AI agents. And simply I copy that key and use it inside of an AN here. So right here, you can see that inside of our NAN, we have our HTTP node for the OCR API call, right? So we have one for image and the other one for PDF. So inside of our URL here, you can see that this is the URL for the API call. So here you can see that this is where we're gonna add our API key onto the query parameter. So here we have our key query parameter. We're just gonna add that to the key here. Here you can see that we're gonna also send a body here for the request. So the body here is gonna be a JSON format and here is gonna be the JSON body. So here you can see we have our parts. So in this, inside of parts, we have two objects. So one is gonna be the prompts. So the goal is we want to extract content from the image and output them keeping the original format. And then the other one is basically the image data, right? So basically what we did here is that we have it to extract it to the base64 string and we pass the base64 string of that file in the request body here, which you can see this is the request body. And after that, we also have the generation configurations for what's the temperature and what is the maximum output tokens, right? So once we have those in place, when we make an API call, you can see on the right, this is the data we get, right? So here you can see, if I were to click on the edit fields here, you can see that this is what the exact format that we see here. So this is what it looks like after we extract all the text, which is the exact format that we see in the image. Simply, we're just gonna take the text that we extracted from the files, and we're just gonna pass it to the large language model here, which is the information extractor, to basically extract those information. So here I'm just gonna execute the step. And here you can see that we have all these data here extracted on the right, which we have our date, the uh, receipt ID, the vendor, right? And also the expense type, the descriptions, the total, subtotal, GST, PST, total tax, 
the payment method and such, we are all extracted from the text we extracted from the OCR. And then the next step here is basically add that data onto the Google Sheets. If I were to execute this, you can see that it successfully add that row onto the Google Sheets, which here you can see that we have our data um, output onto the Google Sheets. We have our invoice date, right? We have our process date, which is just now. And then there's also the receipt ID. There's also the vendor, the, the category, the meal expense, as well as the total amount, the total tax, the GST, as well as the payment method and such, right? So they're all outputted onto the Google Sheets. And the last step here is basically some um, housekeeping, just try to make sure that the data or the file here is moved to the right folder and it gets renamed to the right thing. So I'm just going to um, execute this step and you can see that we have our file renamed. So now let's say if I were to navigate to the process folder and here you can see that we have our file completely renamed to the right file name, right? So it has the date, the name of the vendor, as well as the total amount, which is what we have organized. And then here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try one for the PDF. So here I have uploaded a PDF here, and this is gonna go through the PDF path. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin this data for the trigger, and this is going to be going through the PDF path. So I'm gonna execute this workflow, and it's gonna go through this path right here. Hopefully it's going to aggregate the data and eventually it should be able to um, output that onto the Google Sheets. So let's wait for a bit until it fully triggers this. Okay, so here you can see that we have successfully extracted information and be able to add them onto Google Sheets. So let's review this in our Google Sheets. All right, so here you can see that we have a new row added onto the Google Sheets, which here you can see that this is our PDF file, which I just upload, and this is the amount as well as the detailed information here, which is great. All right, so lastly, what I wanna do is to basically try to do it with more testing, right? With more larger data sets, and that's really what separates good workflow versus bad workflow because some workflow there may be good for just like a couple runs but if you try to do it with more testing sometimes the workflow started failing and that's really what we want to try to avoid so here you can see that we have over 200 files here instead of the unprocessed folder and basically what I did here is I put a schedule trigger so that the schedule trigger will basically run every five minutes so every five minutes it's going to get a file from that unprocessed folder and try to go through this same process or same workflow that we just demonstrate and be able to eventually process that file and add it onto the Google Sheets. So that's what we're gonna do inside of this workflow. And I, you can see here that I have this workflow turned on and active. All right, so here you can see that I have this workflow running for a day and we have added over 200 records onto this Google Sheets. And here, let's say if we were to pick a random uh, record, for example, this McDonald one. And here you can see for this row, we have the total is gonna be 6.92 and the subtotal is 6.59 and the date of purchase was the October 20th, 9 p.m. So if I were to click on the Google Drive link here, uh, you can see that this is the receipt. So here you can see that we have our total, which is 6.92, and the subtotal here is 6.59, and the date of purchase was 9 p.m. October 20th, which is pretty accurate based on what we have here onto the Google Sheets. So pretty much that's how we can be able to use the Google Gemini 2.5 Pro inside of our NAM workflow to automate the OCR task. And lastly, if you're interested to get the NAM workflow Flows that we have that we went over in this video you can find the workflows here inside of this google drive link which simply you can just pay for the link in the description below here and you will get access to both of the workflows from the current one as well as the ai agent that we just went over for the previous video on the google vision api so pretty much you get all four workflows only one using the link in the description below pretty much that's it for this video and if you're interested for more content like this consider subscribe and i'll see you in the next video